Hi everyone, this is Kerem speaking and I'm running Tech Journal, which is covering global tech startup and sustainability stories. In today's video, I'm going to talk about NATO and its new AI strategy. Uh, before starting the video, I will have a request from you. I'll be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, now let's get back to the video. And uh, NATO, I mean NATO, uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization adopted its AI strategy in 2021. The strategy, strategy is based on uh, six principles. I'm gonna count them one by one. Uh, lawfulness, responsibility and accountability, explainability and traceability, reliability, governability, and the sixth one is bias uh, mitigation. Now uh, NATO is getting ready to update its artificial intelligence strategy and it will incorporate generative AI uh, to that strategy. The move has been prompted by the growing threat of cyber attacks on critical infrastructure. NATO aims to standardize the processes uh, to ensure that generative AI and other new technology uh, can be utilized effectively and safely, according to David Van Wiel, who uh, is NATO's Assistant Secretary General for Emerging Security Challenges. Uh, what new process is NATO adopting? Uh, the North Atlantic Alliance will review the 2021 AI strategy next year. A new version will be adopted that uh, will mainly focus on the rules around generative AI. In addition to best practices and standards, uh, these principles can also be re operationalized via other mechanisms including review, review technologies, risk and impact assessments and security certification requirements, uh, like uh, threat analysis frameworks and audits. Further, uh, NATO's uh, cooperative activities provide the basis to test, evaluate, validate and verify AI-enabled capabilities in various different uh, contexts. Uh, I mean, more specifically, uh, NATO's experience not only in operations but also in trials, exercises and experimentation provides several avenues in which allies and NATO can test principles uh, against intended use cases. And as a side note, uh, uh, with more uh, focus on agility and adaptation, uh, NATO can make de defense and uh, security a more attractive sector for civilian innovators to partner with, uh, while also allowing uh, them to maintain their uh, commercial opportunities. Uh, in doing so, uh, efforts to support the transatlantic innovation ecosystem can also serve as a bulwark against undesirable foreign investment and technology transfers and let me add that the new strategy update is expected to put into effect next year uh, this is all from tech journal i hope this video has been informative to you if yes please remember to subscribe to my channel like my videos and post your comments below also turn your notifications to hear about the latest videos thank you for your time and see you soon with the videos and bye for now